Hello traders, welcome to Light Tech Channel. Today, my friends, I have a strategy here which is very commonly used uh, in a forex trading and also binary option trading. This uh, uh, this strategy is very good. You can use it uh, in your daily uh, trading, my friend, because it needs you to analyze the market. Yeah, so. Let me show you step by step and make sure you stay with me from the beginning of this video up to the end, my friend. Okay, yeah. The first thing we need to do here, my friend, is uh, we need to upload our bot, and uh, you can just find it here. Then click load a bot. Yeah, this is the bot which we are going to use today to uh, to analyze. Okay, the bot is called a digital keys strategy bot. Okay, yeah. So I will upload it like this. It's already added as you can see you can use the money management any money management you like okay yeah so uh the thing which you need to understand about this boat this boat is a manual uh it's a manual boat so we are going to uh to trade manually this boat is going to help us just to change those barriers from higher and uh from higher to lower okay we will not have time uh, we will not have time to light that positive and negative so we will just light a writer and then it will change from positive to negative okay my friend so this is just a manual bot okay my friend yeah so after loading it uh, you can see here we have a barrier this is where you are going to put your barrier for example you can change here volatility if you change this volatility you need also to change the barrier which i'm going to give you in a few uh few seconds okay my friend yeah make sure down here duration time must be one minute that is very important my friend and uh this one which is which have arrow this must be a positive and with the one which have h this must be a negative barrier here my friend yeah and uh when you change uh, a volatility there up there if you change this one this uh, for example I can just change maybe go to 100 for example and again here go back to higher and lows if you come back here you will see that you will see this offset do not have barriers uh, these barriers blocks here okay so you need to put them back my friend that is very important so that it can use the barrier which you add up there okay and also uh the one with the h here you have to change it to a negative my friend you can do it just like that okay yeah i hope you have understand me my friend so let's start yeah we will uh we will start with a uh, let's check 10 okay 10 for activity we will put higher and lows uh, we can come here. Let's uh, let's add this barrier back where it belongs, and also let's change this to negative. And when you change here on duration, it will be it will, it will go to ticks. You need to, to bring back to one minutes. Remember that, my friend. You need to bring it to one minutes, just like I have done. Yeah. After that, we are finished. Now let's go uh and show you the barriers i have laid down these barriers my friend yeah for hand i mean for 10 volatility index you can use 0 0.9 100 index you can just use 2.6 and uh 25 index you can just use 0 0.68 uh 50 index you can just use 0 0.161 and uh index 75 you can just use 217 uh 17.9 in uh for how many nine this barrier okay my friend i hope you have understand me and make sure every time you are trading the profit might be must be the same like i'm going to show you in the uh in the video here so if it change 
that means you need to go there and change the barrier until you find that amount of profit which will be the same like on this video okay i hope you understand me my friend so now let's go on the option yeah on the option uh you can see this was a preset which i have designed i use it to trade uh over and under and differ and much and differ but for now since i want to trade higher and lows i will change this preset and add the preset which i have created special for digit strategy uh digit digital keys strategy okay yeah so i will click here and load here a preset i will click upload then uh, let's find that preset this one is called a digital keys strategy preset i will just click that and uh, uh then it will be added directly as you can see here my friend now this is our new template which we are going to use i mean the new preset which we are going to use to trade higher and lows as you can see here we have a candlestick here my friend so what i need you to do just click on this and then it will be expand like this and then you will be able to analyze these candlesticks on a uh a derive chart view okay my friend i hope you have understand me so what are the strategy which we are going to use which one which strategy we are going to use today my friend uh analyzing these higher and lows yeah the strategy which i'm going to use today and showing you today my friend and is the one of the best strategy many traders around the world they use it uh it's about support and resistance my friend many people understand about support and resistance so today i'm going to explain it to you how you can use it to trade them in binary tools my friend okay yeah so uh how you can identify the strongest okay how you can identify the strongest support and resistance so that you can press your entry and you can just make an easy profit okay so how you can identify those support or resistance is very easy my friend all you need to do is you just need uh, uh, to find amount of rejection you it depends on amount of rejection my friend remember that for those who do not know about rejection rejection is like a candle uh, trying to go up for example here a candle try to go up and then go down immediately it's just, it's just like it rejects something it touch up and then immediately start going down and again go, goes up touch and then immediately start going down just like that my friend so the way it goes and touch that we call it a, a rejection that speed of touch and immediately start going down that is a rejection my friend okay it will be rejected yeah so for strongest support and resistance it depends on number or amount of those rejection so if you see a lot of rejection that means my friend is the strongest is a stronger support or resistance okay my friend let me go and show you on the chart for those who do not know what is support and resistance uh a resistance is a line which we draw up and uh many kind of coming from down we we not we will try to to break that line but failed and still going down okay so that area we call it a support and on, i mean a, a resistance and uh, for a support is the candles coming from up and go down after uh, after reaching that zone of a uh, support they failed to break and then continue going up so the more number of failed it creates that uh, 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 that support or resistance to become very very strong we can use it as the analysis so that next time uh, in the future we can use it and there's a way how you can use it don't just you see three and then you see three maybe rejection and then you start trading no there's a way which i will tell you here how you can do that how you can trade it okay yeah so uh, let me show you those rejection and uh, i will explain to you for example here let me check here okay let's go back here let's find it back here yeah for example this zone this area for example this area my friend you can see 
we have a resistance here, my friend, which is being blocked by this strong candle. So let me draw a line here so that you'll be able to see. I will draw, I will draw a zone. Let me draw a zone. I will take this rectangular and then I will draw a zone. Okay, let me just draw randomly and then we can start putting the things together. Okay, let's just leave it here. I have my my way. Let me just leave it here so that you can understand. So this area uh, was used as a uh, uh, resistance zone at this time. Okay, this time it was a resistance zone. This one. Okay, my friend. Uh, it was a support, but the candle coming down and break this area, and now this become a new support. Okay. It become a new support then it come up and try to uh, to break this zone but failed until it continue going down and again it goes up up to here and then continue going down so these are the number of attempts my friend this is the number of attempt on this zone you can see this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one and then the fifth one here my friend okay so these numbers of rejection market trying to go up and then reject try to go up reject try to go up reject this zone we call it a support i mean a resistance zones so this is a resistance zone because candle coming from down try to break but failed but if this being break out uh by a strong candle break this zone then this area of support will change and become a new become a new support okay so it will change from a resistance to a support i hope you understand me my friend and now this happened my friend you can see if i take this like this let me show you okay if i take it more like this you will see that uh Oh, okay this okay you can see the number of attempt which tells us this is the strongest area for us to try for i mean it's the very strongest area of a of a resistance but it's become blocked out by these strong candles here so now this will change and become a support since it's been break out okay so what do you do my friend after confirming that this is the strongest support i mean resistance and now become a support you will do like this my friend for highest highest winning ratio you can just do it the way you like but for the highest i mean win point my friend you just need to trade only the first attempt after breakout only the first attempt after breakout other people they can trade for uh i mean two attempts two rejections those two rejections they can just use it and trade it it's okay but not more than three uh, attempts but for me i will tell you my friend if you need to have high winning ratio just trade only the first one the first one attempt after being break out a support or a resistance for now here this kind of break a resistance and now become a support so what you will do my friend here what you will do is, let me zoom it, uh, you will wait for this candle to come back again. Always when the, the, the area has been break out, uh, the candle will come again to visit that area. The market will come back to visit this new support. Okay, Even for resistance, it will visit that new resistance. For now here, it visits uh, this support. And this, my friend, is the first attempt my friend this is the first attempt which i was telling you my friend and uh for me for me my friend if it's good for you also you can do that for me my friend i like uh, when i have a zone like this it have these two lines okay this is just a zone of a uh, support for now yeah my friend okay so i like to take trades on a second uh the last one the uh, the last one this line let me show you here this line here, okay because 
I expecting the market may just go down up to here and then starting going up. So I will I will watch this line so that I can I can I can find my entry here and trade. As you can see, this candle come and we have the first attempt here with the rejection. So here you replace your higher option and then the market will continue going up and you will you make a good profit my friend okay i hope you have understand me i hope you have understand me yeah and uh, you can see this look like a upper trend so this was a very very good entry because you will trade with the trend i hope you understand my friend you can do this versa when you are in a um uh in a resistance line okay my friend i hope you have understand me you can see again it come to we test the second attempt, the third attempt, and then continue going up, my friend. Yeah, so this is it. So here is where you are going to press your entry here, my friend. After seeing this rejection, you will just press this only this one and then stop and waiting for another good signal with the strongest uh, support or resistance. But if you want more, you can just switch also with this, but it will still be risky. Remember, the more uh, the area of support or resistance being touched before breakout, okay? The more it's being touched, the more that area become weak to be breakout. You have to understand that. It's very confusing here. The more the area of support or resistance be, being touched or rejected, okay? Kind of try to break and fail, try to break and fail. Many times, the more it try to do that, the more that area become weak so that the candle can come and break it that's why we say that after seeing those rejection those many rejection you have to wait for a breakout after waiting for a breakout like this then you can trade on the first attempt because this area of this block i mean of this uh, support or resistance will still be strong and it will be it will be very hard to break maybe until after two or three or more uh, rejection then it will become weak again and it will be a uh, breakout the breakout will happen okay my friend i hope we are together until now make sure you subscribe like and comment my friend don't forget that okay don't forget that